So today we're I'm actually gonna be playing Super Mario 3D World. Let me switch over to that. And I have never played this game. And it's actually a funny story because I bought the Wii U, the three three Super Mario 3D World Wii U, the one that came with this game, and never played it. I played like the first two levels, but never played it again. So this time, I'm actually going to try to make a point of not only playing it, but I'm going to try to get every green star because honestly, I heard that this game is one of the easier Mario games if you just play it. But if you actually go and try to collect the things, then it becomes hard. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I don't think I've ever done that in a Mario game, in the ones that you, you collect like three whatevers in the level. So let, we'll see how that goes. But people say that it can get pretty hard. And uh, I know that the you could actually you could actually caress every single thing, every single enemy, and they'd be like, stop doing that. But you, I know that you can do that. My question is, can you still caress them? I know that you can still point at them and hold them, but can you caress them? We're gonna be doing a caress percent. This is now a, a speed running stream. How quickly can we caress? We'll take the Morrow. Also, this is probably the only time you ever see Mario and Luigi do plumbing. Also, the music in this game. What a game. Look at this dinky jump. I need to pee! Oh no! Let's go! But yes, two things. Music in this game rocks. It's fantastic. Two. I can do Toad voice now without blowing out the mic. Because I installed a little secret something. Can I caress this Goomba? <laughs> I've been actually really excited to play this game because I love the music. It's like, it honestly, to me, is one of the best Mario soundtracks. Like, this theme song is so good! I'd say it's like, in recognizability, it's on par with like the main Mario song. It's not, it's not a big secret that this game is actually comes packed with another game, pretty much a full game, called uh, Bowser's Fury. And the pun is real, it is supposed to be Bowser's Furry. Because literally everything, if you've seen any trailers or anything in that game, everything is a furry. This is kind of the speed you could go, the fat- whoa. Oh no. Is Mario introducing Sonic jank in his games? Uh. Meow! Meow! <gasps> Meow! Goomba! Oh, you know what? I haven't been touching people! <sighs> See, you rub them and then they give you money. I love that they also re- 
retain all of the Mario jumps. Anyone new watching? I love to just like analyze the visuals of the game and do stuff like that. Enjoy talking about that kind of stuff. And hopefully you enjoy that too. <gasps> Captain Toad. <sighs> Can you climb like this? No, he only he only does that. Well, I guess you could climb like this the cheesy way. The cat suit makes this game way too easy. Could. Yes! Can you do it again? I I had a Super Nintendo growing up. And the other game that I, I actually played a lot was Disney's Pinocchio. And back then, Disney games were good. I played Aladdin. Aladdin was a fantastic game. Fan blah, blah, blah. It was a great game. Ooh, look at that. All right! Um, and this music is just taking me back. So this music is just really... Reminding me of it. There were so many great Disney games. Uh, the guys who make now make the Lego games, uh, they made the first toy, the first two Toy Story games for Toy Story 1 and 2, and the, I also grew up with them. They are good. Toy Story 1 was just a side-scrolling platformer, like you would expect for like a Super Nintendo. I played it on the PC, though. If you ever get a chance, I don't know how, but if you do ever get a chance to play uh, any... Either of the two uh, Toy Story games from back in the day. And, uh, definitely do. Because they're pretty good. The first one is kind of hard. The first one has some kind of annoying things. But the second one it was on the PlayStation 1 and PC. I played it on PC again. I was kind of a PC kid a lot of the time. <laughs> Toy Story 2 was a copy of Mario 64. So, you know, you're, you're grabbing the Pizza Planet token. Pizza Planet tokens instead of, you know, stars. And that was a good game. The music, too. Both of them have a fantastic soundtrack. I really love, like, really paying attention to the soundtrack to all these games and all. So many of them have genius soundtracks. Genius soundtrack. Ooh! Give me that. Build to the song. And this is something this soundtrack does really well. To deal with you, fairy. To deal, fairy. Oh no. I don't like that she likes it. Oh, that's weird. Oh no, 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 no! There's a cave under that waterfall. Alright, we're getting this. Yeah! Is that a real star? I see it. Okay, we gotta hit it. pretty well so far. I have not seen one of the stars. It has been kind of easy so far. That is a, an actual very interesting thing about this game is that it kind of defined Mario's modern... Okay. Um, it kind of defined the look of Mario. Like, Mario now, aesthetics-wise, looks like this game gave the look of... I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, the cubes, everything, not not the blocks, but like whenever you see cubes and stuff, the look they go for is from this game. If you look at the whole design of Super Nintendo World in actual theme parks now, they're based on this game. And even Odyssey, 
even though it's they're doing their own thing whenever it's not a, like a themed place like new donk city or something where it's themed after a city themed after you know food or a volcano where it's very different it it follows this aesthetic so after this mario games have been very consistent which isn't always the best because like it was cool seeing their abilities change soccer but yeah even the music of this game uses a lot of the stuff from previous games. this game actually nods to the previous games a lot all of them every single one of them who actually does a very good job showing this off is Donkey, if you've, uh, who hasn't seen a Donkey video. But he did a review on this game, and it's actually really good. And he shows off, like, how this game calls back from literally every Mario that came before it, which is really cool. And it's, a cool thing is that it seems like Bowser's Fury, the add-on to this game, keeps doing that with Sunshine, so... Kind of the one thing that we were missing. The one thing he says, and I, I couldn't agree more, is that this is kind of like the Sonic Generations of Mario. It kind of gets everything that was good from all the previous games. Even like the story, it's kind of like, it becomes very archetypal um, Mario story, but with a twist. You know, you're saving the fairies instead of saving the, saving the princess over and over. Because they're even borrowing from Mario 2, the weird one, the weird game in the series where... You know, you could play as the princess and you were trying to get out of a land ruled by a frog or something. So, so it's just really cool. This game is definitely feels like an homage to just Mario in general. And in the first few levels, I'm already being able to see that. <laughs> and it's really cool. In a land where fairies can do plumbing, what use does a plumber have <laughs> when he's decided to become a cat? Look at these guys. Are they wearing glasses? They are. They're nearsighted. <laughs> That's funny. That's why I guess they always miss. Okay. <laughs> oh, Peach would be so good for this. Ooh. So for anyone who doesn't know, oh, if you're good, you can actually just bounce in the middle there, just back and forth in the death pit. Hey, leave, leave, leave Captain Toad alone. Do you have the third star? Okay, I have one minute, less than a minute. Okay, here we go, here we go. So yeah, these blocks, this is what I was talking about earlier. You'll see these blocks in this style of like these little diamonds and whatever in every Mario now. Ooh, look at actually how cool Peach looks. The little ponytail is Fire Peach. Fire Pe Peach is pretty cool. I don't think I had ever seen Peach in and like a fire flower does. That's a really cool color scheme. Wait, wait. Did I stop it to me, please? Don't caress me like that. Anything touch related like that that you have to point. That's, the Wii U was good. Th that's the thing. The Wii U was stupid, but it was good. It was a cool idea. It's just not a very convenient idea. And another thing too, whenever you made sound, invisible blocks would show up. In this version, I believe you have to ground pound to make invisible blocks show up. See, and then you hear the ping ping. That's the sound of invisible block. Oh, see, there it is. But I would not have known that unless I ground pounded. And I'm not about to ground pound literally every point in the every part of the game. Granted, then you could be asking yourself, why in the world 
uh, if you if you were gonna do the the whole you know sound, wouldn't you have to be making sound at all points in the game so that? Uh oh uh oh uh oh oh. <gasps> Wouldn't you have to be making sound at all moments in the game? Would you be just like <laughs> non-stop while you while you were playing the game? And to that I say good point, but you know, making weird sounds at Peach. Making weird sounds at a controller non-stop, annoying everyone around you, is definitely better than having to ground pound in-game, not annoying anyone around. <laughs> the moment I picked Luigi, I remembered I really don't like Luigi. <laughs> oh, there's a star there. This is actually a really cool concept, using the shadow. I really don't like Luigi. <laughs> It's a me, Cat Luigi, yay! Get out of here, Luigi. Yeah. Is it still oh Um Can I just do this? <laughs> this Oh This is actually Oh He can eat the things! Can it eat its brother? <gasps> cannibalism! Nintendo allows for cannibalism. This is the best... The plant might be the best power-up in the game. I, I can just... <laughs> it eats fireballs and... So earlier I was mentioning that cat suit kind of ruins the pole and the whole point of it. Look at this! You just climb to the top, get 10,000 points! Oh yeah, I'm never picking Luigi again. <gasps> Little mouse. Oh wait, I have a... Luigi. I'm judging Luigi so hard. So hard. <laughs> like, everyone's meowing when they're cats, but I'm just not taking it from Luigi. Yeah, here, here they are again, what I was mentioning earlier with, like, the colored blocks and stuff. Always kind of becoming a Mario trademark now. Not trademark, but like a very characteristic Mario thing after this game. Like, you could see some... some things that kind of look like... starting to look like this in... in, uh, Galaxy. But this one really solidifies kind of the... this kind of blocky, like, toy box look to Mario. I guess that's kind of the look. It's kind of a toy box look. I think that describes it decently well. Does... I like the little mice. They're kind of chubby. And they're always running on the treadmill. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Nintendo? What are you trying to say about the chubby people? Are they happy or are they kind of sad? They're doing it backwards. That's that's pretty impressive. You guys do you do you? Doing treadmills. How many how many people here got? Corn tubby, as they call it. I got corn tubby. I'm still trying to lose it. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, I'm pretty glad that there's like exercise stuff down here. Because honestly, I could have been doing exercise the entire time, but I. I... Oh no. Uh, it wasn't about that life. But now I started doing it a little bit, you know? But then, you know, you start eating more, too, because you feel like you have to. They're going to the song! Oh no, they're all confused now! <laughs> That's actually really cute. 
I love these guys. They're just like minding their own business and then Mario comes in and is like, I'm not gonna mess your step. Woohoo! And then they're just like, oh no. He says it's a me. That's kind of creepy. Okay, okay. Ready? What in the world's that block? <laughs> oh no, this is starting to get creepy. It's a me! <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. I get it. Okay, we gotta put one of you guys. One of you guys. Go up top. Yep, yep. No. No, no. Why are they jumping away? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's four of them, and it, they're making it really difficult for me to try to get the thing. I'm gonna get the thing. Yes, there we go. This is getting really confusing. No! Oh, there are four of you! You do it! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine seeing this! <laughs> Imagine seeing this coming for you! It's a me! 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 It's like, oh, oh no. And oh yeah, so that's what <laughs> I never finish saying. Sometimes I do that. I just never finish saying what I was saying. When you get a cherry, I will be quiet next time you get a cherry. I get a cherry. He softly says. It's at me! <laughs> That's kinda creepy. The fact that he says it kinda softly. But I kinda wanna do that again. I'm sure I'll have more chances to do a cherry. But it's kinda creepy. <laughs> it's kinda creepy that he goes, It's at me! <laughs> Aw, that's a cute one. That's a cute. What was that? Teaching kids that you should go to a casino, that's really bad. This is a reference to Mario 3. That's cool. Look at them! They get so confused, I love it! <laughs> I really do. Like, why can't they just return to formation? They just get so confused. I don't know, these guys are my favorite now. These guys are my favorite and... In a Mario game. <laughs> I love their. <laughs> then you mess with them, and like, ah! It really gets me. I don't know why. Yes, <laughs> oh, they're the best! Oh, there's a secret here. Hey! Is there a boss here? Is there gonna be a boss? Is this just straight up Mario 3? Is there gonna be a... It's Mario 3! This guy was in Mario 3 too. Oh, is that it? Can we do it? Invisible, but not really. That's the thing with a lot of invisible. Oh, I actually lost him for a second. In everything that there's someone invisible, you can only see them, especially in games. More like translucent. And I'm getting <laughs> And everyone hates Snow World. Aww, this music. It is. I love. Snow. Snow makes me very happy. Can Mario roll? <gasps> Does it get bigger? No, it doesn't. Can he reacquire his... Aww. Everyone hates ice in the game. <gasps> Look at him! Look at little Mario! <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Propeller hat. Look at this Goomba! <laughs> Look at him go! 
Can I boot? Oh! This game is so much fun! This is awesome! Look at him! Is he happy? Well, I, I kind of got him on a bad frame. There we go. What are my controls here? Nope, I, I need... Look at how happy he is! <laughs> he's a little boot! He's in his little boot! <laughs> so cute! No! I am disappointed. All right, I need a Goomba on a boot. Give me your boot. Are they not gonna give me a boot again? I'm gonna be really sad. If they don't give me a boot. Mario, stop your spinny jumping. I want a boot. Was the one that was gonna give me a boot the one that fell off? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Do I have all the stars? I don't even have all the stars. Is there a secret up here? <gasps> I need something to make me jump higher. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, okay, we got it. Well. <laughs> Not doing a good... I'm doing a good job there, boo. I can see you. Did you know in Super Mario Bros. 1, every block you break is actually a, a citizen of the Mushroom Kingdom? You're actually killing every single member of the Mushroom Kingdom by doing so. And the blocks, the mushrooms you find in the blocks, are actually dead toads. Did you know? By the way, that's actually true. The first Mario game had a very serious plot. Not plot, but just concept for the blocks. Is this where the challenge actually gets good? A little bit too fast for the key. I'm loving it. Meow, 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 meow. Excellent! Why is he making an egg pot? This is Sonic. Meow, meow, meow. They should have made a meow version of every song in the game. I would have been so annoying. Meow, 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 meow. They should have made a meow version. Mario saying meow meow still really gets me. <laughs> like, why? Why is this happening? Mama meow! <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> I could see it. They could totally do it. It's not it's not out, out of the realm of possibility <laughs> for being honest here. They could just make all the Mario quotes with cat. Oh, I got the Luigi one. Get out of here, spotted cat Luigi. I, I really don't like when they're walking away from the camera and they're pointing their butts at us. <laughs> it's not cool. Uh, our favorite pastime. Yeah, Pe Peach, Peach is just the best character. He has such control over her mobility. You might as well just play Peach. If you're not playing Peach, you're a loser. But yeah, but do keep me posted on if, you know, I'm getting transcoding or not, because that... Um, 
Um. Um. Is this broken? I gotta go. Ooh! Zero! I believe this game is probably awesome for speedrunners. Like, look at all that. Imagine speedrunning this game. Probably really fun. What if I speedran again? What if I became a pro speedrunner? Wonder what game would be the best for speedrunning. I mean, you can speedrun it almost. I mean, you you can speedrun anything. But which one would be the most fun? Meow. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, let's try getting in the groove again. Okay, no, it didn't work. It works for two every time. There's the fairies. Oh, there's a border. When there's a border, there are coins. There weren't any coins there. Is this not a Mario game? A Mario game doesn't put coins on the borders. I messed up. Look at them sleeping. Oh no! Wait, why is this a beach area? Isn't this the ice zone? It's cool that you can do all of your... Any Mario... Any Mario, um, technique you've used in the past, you can totally use in this game because it, it has it. Including forward, like if you do uh, an Odyssey, something that if you haven't played this game, you've only played Odyssey for, it works, which is really cool. So doing the little roll, like roll in the air and then dive forward to keep forward momentum. They... That's something I you do a lot in Odyssey, and it works. Well, that's really cool. This is so cool. What? <laughs> this is awesome. They're not even gonna mention that. <laughs> that's really cool. I just half mastered it. You never want a half mast. Oh, I've heard of this level. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. This is a good level. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Okay, I do have time. I just wanted to go really fast, but I guess it's not very practical for it. But yeah, again, this is what makes this game feel like such an homage to Mario. Like, it even includes uh, Mario Kart, which is so cool. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a Mario Kart level, even with the music. <laughs> like, what other game includes just all these things about Mario? This is a fun level. <gasps> no! Well, and I think Peach is the one for getting that. <clears throat> oh. No, Peach! No! <laughs> she was too fast. No! 
I might not be able to get this. I might not be able to get this. I might need Cat Mario or Tanuki. I might need Tanuki. You think Toad can make it because he's so fast? Okay, this will be my last try here without any sort of other power up. Okay, no. Oh. Heather. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? No! There we go. And this is, I think, another good characteristic of a Mario game, which might not seem like it's like, what? But, repeating songs. I think with the more complex soundtracks got, which, in some ways, they're needed, definitely good. Especially was very cinematic in it and stuff like that. But they lost their... Like... What's the word I'm looking at? Oh wow, there's the goal. They kind of lost their ease of, like, remembering them. The... It became harder to... Be like... Oh, oh yeah, I like this tune. Kind of like catchy tunes. Like, you don't have catchy orchestra tunes, usually. Like, they're, they may be beautiful and, and, like, very complex, but they're not usually catchy, per se. But I think... I think that Mario still strikes a good... a good balance between that, where they have become, like, these very nice orchestrated pieces, but they still remain... like, they make it repetitive. Not exactly repetitive, but... Like, there's a lot of repeating themes, and like, I I'm not a music person, so. Repeating patterns in the songs. And it makes it so they are catchy, and they are memorable. And it's really cool. But yeah, no, so games were really expensive. And I just couldn't buy all of them. So. So what I ended up doing was watching it, and I did become- and that's the thing, like, games? Like, you can totally watch games. Uh, but... Did that fireball- is- Excuse me? Fireball underwater? I guess Dirt Mario's always had a fireball underwater. <laughs> or, like, why pick a game that's gonna make me cry during a stream? I- I imagine, I can only imagine what would have happened if, when the original Last of Us came out, if I streamed, <laughs> it would have been a disaster. <laughs> the first five minutes, I'm just crying. <laughs> Was she in any of the previous games? I don't remember her. I know they put her in Mario Maker 2, so definitely after this game originally came out. Oh yeah, this was a boss! That's kind of cool! This was a whole boss on a train. All the bosses have been very horizontal. That's actually really interesting, I didn't stop to think about that. They're all on a track. So the first one was, um... Was Bowser in his car. The second one was, were the tanks. And now this one was a train. It's actually really interesting. Oh, oh. Why'd they get dark? Ooh. That's a good song. That's a funky song. Gives me cuphead vibes. Can I climb you? It's 
scratched like that by a cat. Ooh. Gimme, gimme. Oh, he's going. Excellent. Wahoo! He's very more he's very subdued. Mario's very subdued in this game. He's not like going, wahoo! He's more like, nice. Like he's chilling. Does Mario get downgraded into Luigi when taking damage? No, he he uh, becomes baby Mario. Well, hatless baby Mario. I don't know how that's what word. He's not really a baby. He doesn't become baby Mario because he doesn't cry. And we all know that that is the signature of baby Mario. Just crying. A lot. The entire game. Oh, look at that cheeky Ann showing his booty. These levels are getting a little bit rougher. I can't just... I can't just run <laughs> through them. That... Honestly, that is completely fair. Mario Galaxy is a masterclass. In design. But again, like... Th that's what Nintendo just really gets right. They can... They, they just make these games that are incredible. And I... There have only been, like... I think I can count... Ooh, ooh, um... Sir? You... Yes, drop your little babies. Kill you with your babies. No, some of the things you... When you stop to think about the things they, they make you do. But yeah, that... I will still say this, though. After having... You know, I, getting through what I believe will, is kind of halfway through the game. It is pretty... It, it is on the easier side. I mean, it's not really... Not necessarily a bad thing, but... The game is on the easier side. For a lot of this. And it's not a complaint, because it's still a really good game. But, well, I guess it is a bit of a complaint, because I, I did... I do want to see more challenge! Peach, don't do it again. Peach, peach. Oh no. That's it. That's when you know you're not a good Mario player. When they show you. When they show you the golden item. <laughs> guess you're still getting your challenge. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I just need to time this better. Hiya! Big field right there. Are we gonna get like some sort of vehicle or Oh that's our turning. <laughs> this is big! Oh it is like a, a savannah. We're kinda like looking for Oh, I see something. I like it. They even go low with the camera so you can see the sun in the background. Where would the last... I only have 40 seconds. I gotta go. This is gonna drive me crazy. Unless it's... Uh, 
I'm not gonna make it. I still gotta get this star though, but at least I know where it is. <laughs> when you get that one second. Oh, Cat Peach cleaning herself. What, what, what a pleasant... Oh! <laughs> They're... Now I know, though. Be patient. There we go. There we go. Meow. I am understanding ways of the cat more and more. I am becoming one with the cat. And I lost my fire. Oh my god. I guess it's just getting late. Maybe I should stop after this level. Oh! Oh, cool. When you know your... your disappointment. I'm being so careless. No, okay. No, okay. Oh, okay. No, I have this. I don't need this. What am I doing? I just need a two. I just needed a two. Oh. I just needed a two. And you just need a two. So the bullets don't shoot unless... This is actually really cool, it's a stealth... Stealth slot. Uh oh. Becoming a Goomba. Never say no to that. 
get a chance to become a Goomba, you never, never let that go. And I feel fine. I feel great. So I can say that maybe for the first time in a very long time, I don't have a headache from streaming. Like, really long time, as in pretty much every single stream I've ever done, I've had a headache after like 10 minutes of doing it, but just kind of kept pushing through. I just thought it was like a me thing. But... Can confirm, not a me thing, just a stupid thing. <laughs> Oh, I see you. Oh, this looks like a boss room. Hello, sir. You seem cute. Alright. Oh, look at your little booty! <laughs> you have a little plump booty. I'ma hit your booty. I'ma hit your booty. I was kind of deadly. Oh! I didn't realize that. Right. Oh. Boom! You down. You down, son. Got your plumb boom. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I missed a star. Look, it's the J-pop fairy. We're gonna have to go through this again, boys. I missed a star somewhere. I didn't see it. Anyway, thank you everyone for stopping by for the first day of m me back streaming. So as I as I mentioned before. I will be streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll be doing it at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. to midnight, around midnight. That's gonna... But yeah, so thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys join me next time. But for today, for tonight, that's it. <laughs>